Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Fortier playing as Portugal. So we got off to a slight bit of a rough start, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> we're not particularly prosperous. Um, apparently Portugal is significantly uh, poorer than it was in the earlier patches. However, we did help Castile in the first war. Got almost 30 favors out of it. Which is awesome. We actually got more than 30. Wow. Uh, I'll boost their trust of me a little bit. We also prevented Granada from dying by occupying uh, Gibraltar here. Gibraltar. Uh, unfortunately, and rather annoyingly, Castile didn't actually give me any land in North Africa. Which is rather annoying. Also, concerningly, they don't have an heir. They're 53. I don't really want to be fighting Aragon. Um, we're still in debt, though. Unfortunately, our part of the world is very poor. Um, what is Morocco doing? Oh, all their vassals have revolted. Interestingly enough, they did not call me to arms, but they did get Aragon and Naples. So I'm going to say Morocco's dead, but that's just my guess. We got 10 years before we can attack them. We need to take 10 years. It's like, in order to get past the starting gate of our... Mission tree, we need to get past Tangiers. Um, it wouldn't help much, but it would get us somewhere. Um, it would also get us a huge add-in boost. We are also waiting to get admin ideas. <clears throat> uh, once we get admin ideas, the next admin ideas, we'll get idea group, and then we can race down the exploration tree and get some colonies going. Um... We should be Castile to that. Not that that's saying much. Castile has a terrible starting monarch. Luckily they got rid of that heir, otherwise they'd be entirely useless. Um, we've also converted Suta to Catholicism, which is good. Um, means there's virtually no revolt risk. We do have quite a bit of war exhaustion though, and we have no manpower whatsoever. Um, nor do we have any drill, so we're going to need to avoid fighting for a while. We're also way behind in military tech. Uh, I kind of did that a bit deliberately, in case people are wondering. Um, first off, it gives me a much bigger pool of manpower to work with in Lisbon uh, later on. But also, it just uh, gets me the Renaissance faster. You'll notice I also gave land to the Holy Orders, Franciscan Holy Order here, and the Jesuits up here. Uh, the reason I did Franciscans down here is because it's my capital region. The last thing I want is revolts, um, and devastation is particularly bad in one's capital. Plus, it also gave me manpower, so... Who might I say no? Who might I say no to that? Uh, although I may need to enhance this province. Looking at it, it's not getting the Renaissance at a reasonable pace. Uh, what do I need to embrace the Renaissance, though? 262 gold. Delightful. Uh, you know what? I'm going to switch this to Advancement as well. Yeah, that's much better. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so we'll take Military Power and Proof Relations with Steel in a heartbeat. Um, I will do that. Get that growing a little bit faster. Need 50 for that. Okay. I'm wasting the military power now because I'm not going to be fighting many nations, hopefully, as Portugal early game. So I think it's much more useful to get other stuff working. Yeah. I'm getting half decent expansion of the Renaissance. It's always good. Um, probably once we get it in Porto, we should be good. Though I, re <laughs> I really don't want to actually pay any money to get more stuff. But, whoa, Marrakesh just got huge. And Morocco is really weak. Wow. We may have to fight Marrakesh. Berber ideas, yeah. These guys like us. Which is kind of hilarious. 
Not enough to, you know, get along with us, but... Whatever. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to take the colonist long before I actually get the Renaissance. Unless something changes. Tech pen penalty will be terrible, but... Don't have much choice. Let's check out what's else going in the world. England held on to one of its provinces in France. It did keep Calais, France, and Provence won the war versus Burgundy, it looks like. Uh, now England's fighting Burgundy. England, interestingly enough, got a different dynasty on the throne, the Salisbury dynasty. Brittany is allied to France. What's also going on here? No union between Austria and Hungary. Uh, Poland and Danzig did win their war versus the Teutonic Order. Uh, Danzig surprisingly loyal. Lithuania, I don't know what they're up to. And the Ottomans have expanded into Serbia and are, look to be doing their normal thing. Allied to Tlemcen of all people. <laughs> cool. And two more months, then we should be able to get colonists. We're going to have to really reduce our income, though. I think I might actually do peaceful. I am Portugal. Portugal was slightly less repressive than Castile was historically, if I understand my history correctly with their colonists. Um, there we go. One colonist. Um, you know what? I'm going to actually take over this island that Castile always wants. And we will do native coexistence for now, yeah. I could take that or I could go straight for this. I'm going to go with this first. Castile probably will hate me for that. However... We will colonize it very quickly. Yeah, they don't actually want our lands. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. That this guy does not have an heir is terrifying. So many of my allies don't have an heir. Be catastrophic. Uh, I'm going to fire that guy. Grant New World Charter. As you can see, we are colon we are going to colonize at an insane pace as um, um You know what? How do I expel minorities? Curious if I can expel minorities on these guys. I don't actually know how to do that. Oh, we also got this unknown frontier. Let's take that. Boost settler chance for a bit. Um, I should probably get my explorer or get a explorer working again. It's gonna hurt my income though. Oh well, we have to do it anyway. Uh, you know, maybe if we're lucky, we'll spawn uh, colonialism. Although I doubt it. Seven years, and then we can try and attack Morocco. Assuming they don't get killed here by Tlemcen. After all, they start out in a very precarious position these days. We need to fire this last advisor. I uh, don't really know what to do because I'm broke. The Palatinate has now become Emperor instead of Austria. What happened? Why didn't Austria win the election? 
Huh, I don't know. Maybe bad reputation. There we go. Iberian Wedding on Castile. So that eliminates Aragon and Naples from the mess. Um, revoke Embargo on you. Need a new rival. Um, Marrakesh looks good. They did kind of like us beforehand, but... Interesting. Uh, Castile... It's got a little bit of a rebellion going on in their lands. I assume Castile will win this. I don't really see... Collapsing. Although they could accidentally become under the Habsburgs. It's a shame I don't have prestige. If I have prestige, there's a chance I could get my dynasty on Castile's throne, which would be an amazing start. Um, alas, doesn't seem possible. Although the Castilian noble rebels are going to cause some trouble for them. The other thing we need to do is get another Splendor idea so we can do higher developed colonies. That will make one heck of a difference. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the Renaissance is spreading through my lands super fast. Can't afford to do any of that. Oh, execute troublemakers, loss of stability. I hate that event. This advancement effort is not working well, so let's switch back to protecting trade. Uh, we also can take off this edict, which will save some money. There we go, positive income. For the moment. More exploration. Explore the Caribbean, if you would. We definitely need to get Brazil as our first colony. Wonder wondering, why hasn't Castile fallen into the uh, Castilian Civil War? Because they don't have an heir. That would be an interesting mess. Uh, I wish I had a prestige advisor. Ah, oh, this colony's going well. Oh, joy. Um, delightful. Delightful. Um, we'll turn to the clergy. Massively offend the nobles, but now at least the clergy have positive opinion of me, which is more income, as we want. Uh, Morocco's apparently also caught me spying on them. Good. Or bad, depending on how one looks at it. Um... Five years, then we should be able to call Castile to help us kill off Morocco. Doesn't appear to have any allies, and I don't think they will anytime soon. Yeah. Hopefully we can take Tangiers. Uh, what is the actual North Morocco? Oh, I have to take all four of those. Yeah, I'm not going to get all four. Actually, here's a funny thing. I don't think Tlemcen can actually fight the amount of rebels Morocco currently has. Um, oh, actually, they can. There they go. Well done. They've got a good general. They've actually got a terrifying general. Plus six is good. Plus five military, wow. I'm, of course, way behind the military, so... What is Castile up to? Nothing. Still haven't gotten their first idea. They... The ruler died, and they got another Trazamara on the throne. Stings. 
Now, if this guy will only die, I'll get my dynasty on England's time. I don't know of anyone else in the world who would like me, so I don't, I'm not even bothering to look for allies. I could look for a royal marriage. Ormond. Ormond. I mean, these guys like me? Oh, he's a fertile ruler. That's why. Wants royal marriages. We are 230 gold in debt. Ah, reduced ferocity and stuff among the natives. We'll be able to issue a new diet and get some loyalty from the nobility soon. Hopefully. Such an exciting game as Portugal, Leon. So exciting, I hardly know how to contain my enthusiasm. Now, actually, the longer we go, um, actually, the better. Well, we still don't. We still have really good autonomy. Uh, explore the Caribbean Sea. We have found the Caribbean. First ones to the New World, by quite a margin over Castile. Sadly, our actual colonizing speed, despite being good, is not great. Actually, it's really good, but it's not really what I want right now. I mean, I'm never going to have as large of a colonial empire as Spain unless I do something amazing, but it would be nice to be able to compete. Oh, our explorer just died. Great. And we can't afford another one right now because we do not have enough Diplo points. Despite focusing Diplo power. On the other hand, that colony should be done reasonably quickly. And our general died. That I'm not actually surprised about. Marrakesh, no longer valid rival. I think they just surpassed me. No, we eclipsed them. Okay. Okay, now all the stuff I did at the beginning of the game and messed up my country so much has expired. Good to know. Uh, Monopoly Charger, demand Diplo Power. Port Clergy, demand Admin Power. Call a Diet, I'm not going to do anything with them. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait for the burgers to prove their relations towards me. Hurts our income, but does give us lots of Monarch Points. Make of that as you, what, whatever you would. Uh, we definitely need this land of opportunity. We've got 35 more years of really good colonial growth before we become entirely useless. Steel has yet to get to Tech 5. We have three more years to Morocco. Somehow Morocco's holding out against Tlemcen. I'm of the opinion it's the rebels holding out rather than the actual Moroccan military. Tlemcen actually would be friendly towards me. I'm almost tempted to ally them, but I know Castile will want to kill them. So, probably not a good idea. I really want that. 80 gold would be huge at this point, but... Can't afford to. We'll have to wait. Our colony is going very well, actually. Almost done. We stole. We just completely stole it from Castile, too. By the way, <laughs> that's one of their colonies. They almost always get, along with it, from the Grand Canary, Canaria. They tend to take it. Uh, we're gonna go for Argund here next. That way, it should delay Castile from getting to the New World for a short while. Moroccan peasants march through our land, that's fine. 
Miltech cost cheaper. Also nice. Really do need to get this Renaissance though. But for that I need money. Um, 192. Okay, so even going into debt and making the burgers hate me would not solve the problem. Okay, well, uh, you know what? I think this is actually a stopping point. Um, actually, wait, let's get our first colony. We'll get our first colony done, and then we will stop there. And continue next time. There we go. Tenerife, however you say it, is done. And we can core it. I don't think we can get to the New World, can we? No. Um, actually, we can. Ooh. No, I'm going to take Cape Verde. So, uh, that will be it for this episode, and we will continue next time. We're probably going to invade Morocco, steal some land there. Uh, hopefully we'll get this next exploration idea going so that we get slightly faster colonization. And we should definitely get the Renaissance, so that should not be a, a burden anymore. Anyhow, thank you guys all for watching. Any tips or comments below, by all means. Ask questions. I like questions. Pretty good at answering them, I'd think. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.